we pledge allegiance to the red, black, and green Pan-African Black Liberation Flag. Flags originated around 1000 BC in Egypt. Flags are commonly used to identify a country. Nation state flags didn't come into existence until the 18th century. The flag has always been a symbol of identity, honor, and unity for a group, village, community, or a nation. In battle, the first object of attack was the flag, and once the flag fell, it would mean that the nation was defeated. The flag that is used to represent black people globally is the Pan-African, Red, Black, and Green, RBG flag, also known as the Bendera, Ya Taifa, which is key Swahili for the flag of the nation. The Red, Black, and Green flag was first designed and introduced by the Honorable Marcus Mosiah Garvey and members of the United Negro Improvement Association in 1920. Marcus Garvey was compelled to create a flag for black people worldwide in response to a racist 1900 song called Every Race Has a Flag But the Coon. This song was very popular at the time amongst white supremacists and was responsible for establishing the term coon in reference to black men and women in the United States of America. As a result, Marcus Garvey commissioned the RBG flag through the passage of Article 39 as the standard of Pan-Africanism at the UNIA Convention in New York City on August 13, 1920. The Honorable Marcus Messiah Garvey is quoted as saying, Show me the race or the nation without a flag, and I will show you a race of people without any pride. In song and mimicry, they have said, Every race has a flag but the coon. How true! But that was said of us four years ago. They can't say it now. Pan-Africanism encompasses a range of political views and ideologies. In its basic form, Pan-Africanism is believed that black African peoples, both on the African continent and in the diaspora share a common history and a common destiny. Red represents the blood of our ancestors that run through our veins and was shed throughout our struggle. Red symbolizes both fire and blood. It is also associated with energy, war, strength, power, determination, as well as passion, desire, and love. The red reminds us that we must continue the work of our ancestors and fight bravely for black African liberation and empowerment. Black represents the color of the original people. Black is also associated with power, mystery, strength, authority, elegance, formality, aggression, rebellion, and sophistication. Without black, all other colors lack depth and variation of hue. Black reminds us that as the original people, we must carry ourselves with great dignity and self-respect. Green symbolizes fertility, productivity, and prosperity. The color green also depicts growth, nature, money, and safety. Green represents the fertile cradle of Africa and all her prosperous glory. Green reminds us of our important mission as Pan-Africanists about the unification of Africa into one mighty nation, protected, self-sustaining, and developed to her full potential. The colors that represent the Pan-African flag are utilized in many institutions that represent black people and cultural practices, such as Kwanzaa, black-owned businesses, and black political, social, and economic organizations. The RBG Pan-African Pledge of Allegiance is recited as follows. We pledge allegiance of the red, black, and green, our flag, the symbol of our eternal struggle into the land we must obtain, one nation of black people with one God for us all, totally united in the struggle for black love, black freedom, and black determination. 
During political and cultural celebrations that honor the RBG flag, the national anthem that corresponds with it is the Universal Ethiopian Anthem. There are nations around the world that incorporate the Pan-African flag in their national flag. African nations that incorporate the Pan-African flag are the Biafran flag, the flag of Malawi, the flag of Kenya, the flag of Libya. Caribbean nations that incorporate the Pan-African flag are the flag of St. Kitts and Nevis. Dr. Ron Daniels advocated for both a national holiday honoring Marcus Garvey and the RBG flag created by Marcus Garvey. In his appeal, he stated, I am proposing that we as Africans in America declare August 17th, the birthday of Marcus Garvey, National American Flag Day. Garvey's birthday should become a major focal point for the dissemination of information about our flag and the massive display of the flag by millions of black people in parades, Garvey Day events, and on our homes. On August 17th, RBG Flag Day, as well as every other day throughout the year, descendants from Africa, black people from around the world should collectively fly and post their RBG flag as a sign of global black unity and global black liberation. Black families, households, villages, and communities need to unite and become stronger under the banner of the red, black, and green Pan-African Black Liberation Flag and work to strengthen our families, villages, communities, and islands so that we can collectively come together to strengthen and liberate Mother Africa. Fight be victorious when swords are thrust outward to gleam. For us will the victory be glorious when led by the red, black, and green. Advance, advance to victory. Let Africa be free. Advance to meet the foe. With the might of the red, the black and the green.